This is Shyla. And I'm Ella. So today, as we promised, we're gonna talk about courses. To just make this video a little bit less boring for you guys, we're gonna use a format where we will assign them awards for each classes. And we have the courses right here. You guys can mix and match and try to see what you think the course fits best. And we'll get going. The first course that we want to talk about is Fiji. Which is self physiology. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and um, we will award Fiji the most interactive course. So, why do we say that? As you know, that our program adapts the flipped classroom format. So, we have an in class portion and an out class portion that we will be covering. The in class portion is mainly why we think this course is the most interactive course. We have a thing called Clicker that you can interact with your professors to. Um, tell them about what concepts you don't know or that you think you have a problem on. You can just type the question in and submit it to them. In each of the classes, we will have um, a weekly poll of the concepts that we don't understand. And every single time, we will also review the whatever concept that was voted in the last clicker. So the professor can go over the concept that most students voted that they don't understand and just to explain it more and answer the question. Also, the clicker is used to quiz us as well, we will also have content quizzes like five questions, multiple choice questions, um, do the vote during class, or oh, what do you think it is? I think it's 10. Okay, so maybe 10 questions, I'm not too sure. It's been a while, guys. Um, yeah, it's from first semester. Also, we are asked to complete in class group assignments. We oh. utilize the knowledge that you learn from the module. And um, there's also an open ended question as well, which you gotta apply your critical thinking skills right here. Usually, it's a little bit harder, but it's very interesting. And you also gotta look online for the sources as well because the answers are not in your modules. <laughs> yep. And since we've done all these stuff in class, there's not many assignments outside of class. The one big project is disease presentation, where you're assigned randomly to a disease and you have to make a PowerPoint on it and you have to do voiceover too. You have to do a lot of research and I got assigned to cystic fibrosis, which is an interesting topic that everybody, a lot of people know, but some people don't have deep knowledge about it. But it's very common, so I think it's very interesting. Yeah, and um, also another thing is that those diseases are not just normal diseases. You also have to use the self physiology knowledge that you learned in class, applying to um, understanding those diseases. So, so that's uh, where the knowledge portion of the presentation comes from, and. Um, also, our courses in general all evaluate peer assessment a lot. Um, so in Fiji, for example, we use this um, peer assessment platform called Europa, where I think we were asked about three or four times uh, over the course to uh, give our peers comments and um, on something that they can improve and just like general comments and just um, encourage us to grow. Yeah. So the second word, dun dun dun! is pharmacology. It's the most memorization and most educational course. So why do we say that? Because it talks about drugs and you need to take drugs. Like some people take drugs every day, like vitamin is a kind of drug. And we didn't know that we made so many mistakes before taking pharmacology. For example, like taking great food with um, medications and also taking, taking cheese was medications and um, we also learned about some really trendy topics like um, like serious drugs like marijuana and cocaine and and I hope and we won't be like blocked from YouTube for saying this hopefully um, <laughs> don't show this to kids yet anyways so let's talk about the assignments so we have two assignments in the course. One is the clinical trial poster or the drug development poster. And the second one is the herbal report. The clinical trial is about what a drug is like from conceiving the idea of developing a drug to the drug going to the market. And we have to know all the aspects of the clinical trial and the parts of the clinical trial and we have to make a poster about it. And then also the herbal report is um, the first time ever, me personally, um, 
reading academic paper because for the herbal report we basically asked to do um reviews for the academic paper as we all know there's a lot of controversies within the efficacy and safety of herbals and uh, basically we were asked to review academic papers on the efficacy and safety of these herbals and um write a report basically yeah it was it was tough times how fun was that yeah like Honestly, like academic language is... No, I'm kidding. It's really interesting. It's really interesting, but it's like learning Shakespeare, a different language. Yeah. Yeah, but you get used so to it. So next, we're going to talk about GLIF, which is Global Public Health. Also called the Social and Physical Determinants of Health. It's very lonely. Because it's a really casual class, so we're going to give it the award, the most casual class. Yes. One thing to make note of for this class is that we actually have it every other week, so not every single week. Um, and what we do in class is that it's kind of like a storybook telling format. Where you come prepared with the stuff that you learn in the modules. And also we often presented different cases, different real life cases in the module because I feel like this class really talks about a lot of history and current social issues. We often get a case and we have to, there's often a discussion question uh, for ourselves for each class um, that we have to write a report on it and then hand it in. The assignment that we had for this class is a research poster, which is the neighborhood project. So basically for this research poster, we are asked to identify the social and physical determinants of health of uh, diseases in a specific neighborhood. And um, that was basically the project. It's super fun because we actually got to present our posters in New Med. It's a lot of work, don't get me wrong, but it's very interesting because a lot of people don't get this experience in their third or fourth year, not even masters sometimes, and we had the privilege of doing it in the first year. Yeah, it was it was tough though, like, um, as I mentioned probably in my first video, you guys have heard that um, there's a lot of uncertainty going into it, but good job, we made it! Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then also, I think one thing that we forgot to talk about is our dear professor for this class. Shout out to our professor. She's um she made a lot of vlogs in the modules, um telling her own story of visiting the historical sites. Uh, it was good vlogs. It was good times. She's a very good vlogger. Yeah, better than us maybe. Way better. Than We're us. gonna award the most practical award to anatomy. Anatomy. Okay, so anatomy is, based on this name, it's anatomy and um, it's a really special course because it has labs, everyone's favorite, labs. Um, you get hands-on experience, it's basically self-guided, you get to go into anatomy labs and you actually get to touch cadavers with gloves, so <laughs> no worries. Um, and all the TAs are there, head TAs are there to explain stuff, people usually gather around. We love the head TA so much. And then there's also the anatomy museum where there's specimens. Um, usually in the lab sessions, we are asked to complete a lab report, which has the guiding questions and also the numbers for the specimen that we should take a look at. It's just for yourself. It's not great or anything. It's a mm -hmm. review sheet. Mm -hmm. yes. There were actually many assignments. So we had the Jeopardy assignment where um, people are divided into group and then create their own Jeopardy question and kind of having like a Jeopardy battle to each other. Yeah, and we ran to class and we played against groups. Um, and then we also had the figuring out what disease your patient had. Maybe like that's a case study. Yeah, maybe like a fake doctor assignment. Yeah, and we have to give detailed treatment plans. <laughs> yes. Our third assignment is a presentation where we have to discuss a specific anatomical aspect of the body and the human system. And it's also one that's similar to the disease presentation in um, Fiji. You have to apply your knowledge from the module and do a voice cover to the PowerPoint. So as we talked about, there's a lot of exams and tests. There's bell ringers, which is for midterm and finals. It's basically the bell rings every minute, and there's 40 tables set up in a room. And you Identify the specimen and also the function. Also, there's the block theory exam, um, which is basically we are asked knowledge question for the module. We're gonna give the most modern word to BMED, which is short for History and Philosophy of Health and Healthcare. Yep. 
Um, so, so for BMED, I think we think that it's a really creative course because all you do is write blogs. Yeah, blogs is like a really big part of this um, entire course. Instead of having to write essays like most of the other courses that you expect, you also write blogs. You can include all the pictures you want, videos, and then where you just share your opinions, it's like an argumentative essay. And during the in-class discussion, you also get to share opinions with your peers. Right. A lot of this course is also discussing critical issues that happened in the past and right now, and in different fields of health and healthcare. Um, so really helped us build some critical thinking skills. We also use the discussion board on Elantra a lot. Um, so basically, we have online discussion with our peers regarding a specific topic. So that was fun. And we do peer reviews. So you score your peers and write some comments for them. Um, and also you get to evaluate yourself. So for a statistic, we're going to give it the most technical award. So why do we say that? <laughs> it's because we learn about a lot of software stuff in this course. Like what? We had labs where we use computer software to conduct statistical tests. What else? So this entire course is basically about statistical testing. Um, during the in-class sessions, we learn about statistical methodologies, which is really helpful if you're going to research or anywhere you go in the future. Oh, what, what Do you take any tests in this class? Um, we do. So in class, we have... Um, interactive quizzes where we have to answer right away on an app and then in the labs we are also asked to complete assignments with software that we use and um, in general we have like a lot of quizzes um, and a lot of uh, tests as well for this course welcome to the end of the video so we've been talking as you can see it was um, all sunny outside and then now we've been talking so long it's all dark hurtful ran out of battery hopefully you guys are um, this is my phone Hopefully you guys are not too bored of what we talked about. I'm scared of the dark and we're gonna talk about schedule so we're gonna make it fast. It had been a long video. I know, you guys are tired. I'm very tired. But we have to talk about the schedules, guys. Now time for bed. Talk about schedule. So here is a beautiful schedule. Um, so you can see there are some back-to-back -back classes where people usually go and grab a coffee, donuts, um, um, food, uh, lunch, dinner, all sort of stuff. So there's a four-hour class. Uh, don't worry, it's just two two-hour class Wednesday afternoon. And people usually go to the Tim Hortons for coffee and food. So this is it for the video. There's a long line. This is it for the video. Thank you for watching. And comment down below which courses you like the most. And She's pretty. Okay! Like and subscribe! Bye! Bye.